Give us a break, Father. Or at least a clue. Patience. Patience. All will be revealed in time. Well, that's exactly what I don't have. I'm overwhelmed with paperwork at the hospital because I spend all of my time trying to stop Rick Weber from taking over my life. Now, if you do have a reason, please say it. Well, in the first place, we spend far too little time as a family. And family is what the dinner hour is all about. You know, a regathering from our days out in the world, uh, just reminiscing and sharing anecdotes over a civilized meal. Huh? Have you been drinking? I think Edward has touched on a lovely idea. Thank you, my dear. And as always, yours is the only opinion that matters. <laughs> Other than my own, of course. <laughs> I'm intrigued by who you're considering family these days, Grandfather. I mean, I can't help but notice Sky. Hardly your favorite person. But my grandchild, nevertheless. Which means Jax... Is here with me. All right, Father, you said you had a couple of reasons. Let's try another one that we can actually buy. Well, I have a very special gift for life. Hey, if it isn't too much trouble, just hang on. How do we manage to find such insolent staff? Reginald isn't staff, Edward. He's family. Thank you, Mrs. Quartermain. Here you go. Well, where is he? Hey, Jay. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's lovely to see you too, Grandmother. Sorry to barge in. We just didn't expect to find the entire family in, in one room together. Command performance. We're all awaiting some mysterious and momentous event. I guess our invitation got lost in the mail. All uh, heirs disinherited to need not apply. AJ, uh, this is Edward doing, but your father and I are very pleased to see you. Are you pleased to see my wife? I am. How are you, Courtney? Hey, Jax. It's your business here, Jax. What's your business here, AJ? You know, you really don't have to do this, put yourself through all this, unless you enjoy masochism. Who are you to advise my son? I have to care about his well-being. Who else in this room can say that? Jason's here. Here's your surprise, Lila. Hello, Grandmother. It's good to see you. Hi, darling. Wonderful. So do you. Reginald, I'd like a moment alone with my grandson. Sure. <laughs> I just want to uh, officially welcome you back. Thanks. Yeah. You look good. Thanks. So I, uh, I hear Leticia's taking good care of you. Yeah, yeah, you can call it that. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, I'll give you guys some privacy, all right? Oh, it's so good to see you, my dear. But tell me, did your grandfather blackmail you into coming here? Yes, he did. Oh, I apologize. No, you don't have to. It would mean a lot if you'd stay for a while. For Monica's sake. She misses you terribly. And tell Edward, I appreciate the gesture, but I will not be a party to blackmail. So, I shall go to bed. Reginald? I don't think you've seen the last of me. Oh, I hope not. from the golden child in less than 24 hours, Edward. I'm beginning to see a nasty pattern developing here, and just when I'm beginning to trust you. Don't tell me you're thinking of double-crossing me when the ink on my contract is barely dry. <sighs> Sky, relax. You've got it made. All you have to do is do your part of the deal, and you're my sole heir. Hmm? So now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go spend some quality time with the prodigal thug. What was that about? Oh, you know, Edward being Edward. <laughs> Did he upset you? 
And why would he? You have promised me that you're going to take care of him, and I trust you. Good. I think I've had enough family togetherness for one evening. Will you get me out of here? I bet you never ask. Mm. For those of you who care, Jax and I are leaving, and I would advise anyone who's fortunate enough not to live here to do the same thing. Not everyone. I'm out of here. Nice to see you, Jay. Me too. Where's Lila? Oh, she said, thanks for the gesture, but she's not going to be a party to blackmail, so she went to bed. Who's being blackmailed? Oh, come on, Dad. You can't be that naive, can you? I mean, why else would Jason voluntarily step foot in this house? And for a big quarter rain happy meal, no less. What have you done? He's looking for a list of the OQ properties. Why, I don't know, but he tried to buy it off me this afternoon. My guess is he went straight to the source, and coming here tonight was Grandfather's Price. Is that true? Edward has something I want, and yes, tonight I had to come here to get it. How dare you? That is unforgivable. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me get something straight here. Um, you see, I am currently being investigated by the federal government, thanks to Grandfather. I was disinherited, tossed out on the street with my wife, and no one cares. But Jason was truly forced to come spend a little quality time with the family, and this is totally unforgivable? One asked you here tonight, AJ. In fact, you were pointedly not invited. So why don't you take your tiresome inferiority complex and your child bride and leave? I'm warning right? you, Edward. I won't have you talking to AJ that way. This is my house. He is welcome here anytime he wants. Don't defend me, Mother. That's not how you really feel. Grandfather's despicable. But at least in his own way, he's honest. Doesn't swear to love me and then stab me in the back. If you're referring to the fact that your mother and I have taken a stand against your rampant self-destruction, that's tough love. It's a concept you should understand, considering you convinced this family to practice it on me. And you hated it. Is this why you're all turning on me? Huh? Is this why you're trying to pay me back? Tell me something. What is so self-destructive about falling in love and getting married? I mean, how does that stack up to killing people? Or don't you people read the paper? Don't you realize that Jason was detained by the police yet again? That's right, your golden boy is a suspect in another shooting. We don't know what actually happened. The media has a habit of writing terrible stories about uh -oh. your brother. I mean, this guy shoots people and you make excuses. All of you. Well, Jason, I guess that's a secret, right, man? Hmm? Unbelievable. Well, you know what, at least now you'll all be happy to know that I have finally stepped into the right direction. Wait, AJ, where did you get that? Stole it. Yeah, that's right. I was so desperate, I snuck into the house like a common criminal. Now, granted, it doesn't quite measure up to a contract killer, but I I'm no thief. So tell me, uh, how does vandalism rate, huh? <laughs> Please be patient, please. No, 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 sweetie. Come on, this is my family. This is my mother's home. She, she said I'm welcome anytime. Isn't that right, Mom? Hmm? And I don't want to leave until I'm ready. I, I, until I can show everyone here that I can measure up to the man. I mean, they love him so much. They love criminals and violence. I can do this. I can do that. I really can. See? Look. Hey, oh, stop that this minute. You what? listen to me or your parents, and I will have you arrested. Best idea I've heard all day. I'll even be more like Jason. Please call the police. AJ, please. Will you leave him alone? You smash some things. You hurt your parents. You scared your wife. That's nice. But I'm in a hurry, and you're wasting my time. I want what I came for. <laughs> Stop that! This minute! What? Listen to me or your parents, and I will have you arrested! Best idea I've heard all day. I'll even be more like Jason. Please call the police. AJ, please. Will you leave him alone? Smash some things. You hurt your parents. You scared your wife. That's nice. But I'm in a hurry, and you're wasting my time. I want what I came for. We have an agreement. We have dinner, and you get your list. All right? We should never come here. Come on, AJ. Oh, no, no. Now without a toe, sweetie. Oh. AJ, don't do this. Uh, come on, Dad. I'm just taking a page out of my brother's book. That's all. I mean, the weight of your heart. 
is obviously to do whatever you damn well please, and I've wanted this drink for so long. So, I'd like to make a toast to my fam... No. You know what? To my baby brother. Don't you get it? God, you are not hurting them. You are hurting yourself. And me. AJ, come on. If you really love me, just leave with me right now. Let's go. <clears throat> Well, you know what? You're damned if you're taking the bus. Call the police if you want. AJ, AJ, don't. I beg you. One more DUI and you go to prison. Courtney, for God's sake, don't go with him. I hate, I hate to say this, but I agree with you, parents. You shouldn't, you shouldn't drive after you've been drinking. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't deal with you going to prison. Please. I'm not drunk. I had a shot. It's not a problem. I promise. You with me or not? I'm sorry that AJ is AJ. I hope you're all right, but I have to leave. I understand that, and as absurd as this will sound. Thank you for coming by. Oh, no, 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 no. Dinner, then dessert, then you get through this. Hey, wait a minute. Stop that. Congratulations, Father. Another wonderful evening. <laughs>